This is that uh, really big transformer that I featured in a previous video which may or may not be public by the time you're watching this or uploaded yet and uh, this is just a test of it on full mains by the way warning do not attempt this at home there's 1200 volts feeding that uh, microwave oven transformer there so um, it works just using that um, a microwave oven transformer feeding at 1200 volts outputting about 68 volts running both of these lamps these are uh, 75 volt um, train service lamps see train china yeah rubbish but um reasonably decent but then again considering that this lamp, that this lamp was about six dollars and seventy six cents when I bought it and they're now up to over eleven bucks or no they're up seven dollars and change ish I want to overload the CCD, hang on, or the imager in this. It's the shielding, but, um, train China, 50 watt, 75 volt, rough service. And, of course, the General Electric Meatball. And that one's just a generic industrial performance one that I got from, um, LanaLightbulbs.com. That's about, um, uh, $2.44, so needless to say, I'm getting more of those. They're a lot cheaper and they're effectively the same lamp. Actually, aside from the bases, they look almost identical, so they might even be made in the same factory. Who knows? Um, again, this is the Beast Transformer. And judging by the split primary, or the split secondary, <coughs> no, the split primary, well, both the primary and secondary are split. But judging by that, this is actually a 240 volt input transformer that's designed to output about 2.5 or 2,500 volts. And, um, but or it could be that it's 1,200 volts and it's intended for use with a single wave or with the um, full wave center tap rectifier. Hence the um, terminal block that I've just got there. And what I'm probably going to do is when I'm actually using this transformer for the power line experiments, I'm going to uh, put some heat shrink over those just to um, shield them because they'll be floating about, or the, not floating, but they'll be about um, 600 volts RMS above ground. Although what I may do is tap that off and use that for the other stuff because of an experiments with series amps like um. Just ordered them today, so I can't really do it yet. But I've got um, some, or I've, I ordered some 230 volt, 40 watt lamps. I'm going to try stringing half a dozen of them in series as a means of series lighting on the 1,200 volt line, without having to resort to a transformer. But yeah, it works. I can would. And there's another bit of experimentation. Running a compact fluorescent lamp on 70 volts, about 68, 70 volts. Um, operating current is about normal. It claims 230 milliampers on the side. So about 230, 240 milliampers, but the lamp is definitely dimmer than normal. And again, risk of electrocution 1200 volts, don't touch. Whereas on 120 volts, the lamp is using about bang on 200 milliampere, so the operating current has gone down, and it looks more normal. Looks like the bell circuit is trying to compensate, but I wouldn't really recommend running these on 75 or 68 volts, just because safety reasons. So yeah. But that's what they make 75 volt lamps for.